Hey, today we're going to talk about 6.4, Distribution of Natural Energy Resources. So take a moment, check out the Enduring Understanding, look at the learning objective, pause the video, review the essential knowledge, and set up your Cornell notes. Okay, so globally, uh, we have energy resources uh, all around the planet. However, in the United States, you should probably be aware of a few different hot spots, so to speak, where we have access to coal and petroleum. Now this is not, this is a graph, that, uh, a map that I made. So this is basically a general area, but you have coal is typically found in the Appalachian regions, uh, West Virginia, huge coal mining state, uh, Pennsylvania, Western Pennsylvania, uh, Western North Dakota and Eastern Montana is also where we find some coal deposits. Now petroleum, we have some around Lake Erie, Oklahoma, Texas, the Gulf of Mexico, and also we have uh, petroleum found in Western North Dakota, and this is where they have a lot of the, the uh, petroleum found in the tar sands and the oil sands that uh, we talked about in the last video. Uh, globally, the coal reserves, we have, you know, maybe at, at current use, we have between 100 and 150 years of coal remaining. Uh, globally, the United States has the most coal, coal reserves. Uh, next is Russia, then China, then Australia. These are the top four countries. I would definitely understand that these are the top three because they like to ask you um, leaders in you know different types of reserves. Now I'm assuming that India would be number five because it's you know, darker here and it has that higher value, but you know, I'm not exactly sure. But right now I think I'd say India is probably number five. Not that important though. All right, 50 to 60 years remain of our natural gas reserves. And globally, Russia has the highest uh, amount of natural gas. Iran, Iran, which is in here, right there. Uh, Qatar, which is a little tiny country in the Arabian Peninsula. And then United States, and then Saudi Arabia would be number five. Uh, petroleum reserves, we have about 50 years remaining. That's kind of scary considering that, you know, we're not really, um, we don't have a huge, uh, huge push for electric or um, hybrid vehicles. But the global leader in petroleum reserves is Venezuela, which is kind of weird because you think it must be in the Middle East, but Venezuela actually has the most petroleum globally. Second is Saudi Arabia, then you have Iran, is right here then you go Canada and then Iraq now oil I just wanted to remind you that oil and gas uh, form next to each other you have your source rock which is down here and then you have this porous rock so the oil forms from this source rock and then kind of bubbles up bubbles through this because oil is going to be very uh, buoyant and it's it's lighter so it's going to float up uh, and then the methane or the natural gas will collect in little pools. This is underneath a non-porous rock. So all you really need to know, it, you don't have to know shale, sandstone, whatever. This is typically shale. That's typically shale. This is typically sandstone. Not that important to know exactly the type of rock. Just know that it's non-porous and porous. And you have your source material at the bottom. Now uranium is used for... Uh, for nuclear energy, and we'll talk about that. Uh, I have this graph which uh, indicates the uh, uranium reserves uh, around the planet. Now, something that is a little bit troublesome, and I don't know why, but when I go and look online, it, I look for uh, top uranium reserves, and I got this. But Australia is not listed, but in this graph, Australia has, you know, the most uranium reserves. So I don't know. I can't tell you 100% because I haven't, got, haven't received confirmation. But according to this, which is a very reputable source, Australia has the most. But when I've Googled it, Kazakhstan, which is right over here, has the most. So for all intents and purposes... You probably won't be asked about uranium. However, I have seen a lot of, uh, on the college board, I have seen Australia show up uh, in multiple choice questions. Okay, so what I would like you to do is 
respond to this free response question for practice. Um, describe the geologic features. And geologic means, remember, rocks. Um, that are associated with natural gas reserves. Again, natural gas reserves are typically found where we have the oil reserves. Go back, look at your notes. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. I hope that this was informative. I will see you soon.